Rainforest. All right, it's a lot of words here. Welcome to the jungle. Monkeys call loudly from giant trees. Huge spiders scuttle across your feet and insects as big as dinner plates buzz around your ears. You're in the jungle. Weather forecast. It's easy to guess the daily weather forecast in the jungle. Hot and humid with heavy rain. Some areas of tropical rainforests get a massive 160 inches of rain each year. And the temperature is always between 75 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit, 24 to 27 degrees Celsius. Animal magic. There are an incredible number of animals living in tropical rainforests. They are mostly very shy, however, and are experts at doing disappearing acts among the leaves. Where in the world? Tropical rainforests are found on both sides of the equator, an imaginary line that circles the globe like a belt. The weather near the equator provides perfect conditions for lush forests to grow. Shades of green. Getting lost in the rainforest can be a real problem. The best way to travel through it is by boat. Many rivers snake through the jungle carrying excess rainwater towards the sea. <laughs> Forest facts. Tropical rainforests cover only a small area of the world, 7%. Over half the world's wildlife lives in the rainforest. The largest area of tropical rainforest in the Amazon jungle is the Amazon jungle in southern <laughs> South America. Jungle soil is shallow, only four inches, 10 centimeters deep. Yet some of the tallest trees in the world grow in it. Fragile forests, rainforests help to clean the world's air and water. Jungle plants give us medicines that make us well when we are ill. Rainforests are very important, but are shrinking every day chopped down for land and wood. We need to value these amazing forests and take care of all the animals that live in them. Forest layers. Each animal has its own special place in the rainforest. They may visit their neighbors or eat out now and then, but they always return home. From the tips of the trees to the forest floor, each layer of the forest has a name. Follow this guide to climb a jungle tree, emergent layer. It is much windier above the canopy. The huge crown of the tree spreads out above you, forming the emergent layer. Here, tribes of agile monkeys swing through the trees. You're as high as a church steeple, so don't look down. The canopy. The next layer called the canopy is made up of the thick, branches and leaves of taller trees. A refreshing breeze and dappling sunlight make this the most popular place to live in the jungle. More wildlife lives here than anywhere else. Forest facts. The canopy is like a leaky roof. It stops most rain from reaching the forest below. No one knows much about the jungle treetops. They are hard to study because they are so high up. Why would you take a helicopter? <laughs> <laughs> the understory. Leafy bushes and the tops of small trees make up the first layer called the understory. It is dark and hot here. Like on the forest floor, tiny frogs hide in the leaves and sparkly birds hover in front of flowers. The forest floor. The climb starts at the leafy forest floor. A soft carpet of dead leaves is perfect for insects. Ant eaters and other insect munching creatures live here. Rivers. It is important to tra important to travel far. The blah, blah, blah. It is impossible to travel far in the rainforest without crossing one of the many streams and rivers that slice through it. Watch out for crocodiles and deadly piranha fish as you cross. <laughs> Storms and high winds lash at the treetops. The crown of an emergent tree can spread to be the size of two football fields. Wow. Bright green, red, blue, and, par and blue parrots swoop around the treetops. 
emergent trees can be 200 feet high. That's pretty high. Mm -hmm. The variety of life. There is more variety of life, of wildlife in the world's tropical rainforest than anywhere else on earth. There is so much, in fact, that scientists believe there is still a lot to find. Rainbow birds. Birds of every color flesh among the trees. This toucan uses its fantastic beak to crack open the many forest fruits, attract toucan friends, and scare away enemies. Forest layers are one of the reasons there is so much variety. Life is piled on top of life. Teeming with bugs. There are far more creepy crawlies than anything else in the animal kingdom, and nowhere is that more obvious than in the rainforest. On just one jungle tree, scientists found 200 different types of ant. It's, that's more than in any country. That's more than in many countries. Mammals have mustaches. The rainforests support many amazing mammals, too, like this emperor, Tamarin. Mammals are hairy animals that feed their babies with milk. It has a red tail. The postman butterfly is one of 2,000 species of butterfly found in the Amazon jungle. 2,000. Ooh, yes. Me. New types of insects are found every day in tropical rainforests. Scaly reptiles. Reptiles live at every level of the jungle, from big iguanas like this one to hissing snakes and clever crocodiles. Reptiles have scales on their skin and lay eggs. Reptiles are close relatives of the dinosaurs. That's why some of them look so fierce. Woody words. Carnivore. A meat eater. Poison arrow frogs eat insects, so they are carnivores. Herbivores, a plant eater, leaf mulching, leaf munching iguanas, and nectar drinking butterflies are herbivores. Omnivores, a meat and plant eater, toucans and tamarins, for example, eat a mixture of fruit and insects. Amphibians. Brightly colored frogs, like this poison arrow frog, are common in jungle trees. Frogs and toads are amphibians, which means they can live in and out of water. Another one like that. Another tree. Mm. Giant trees. Woo, this is neat. The giants of the jungle, the emergent trees, stick their huge heads out above the canopy. These trees, which start life as tiny saplings on the forest floor, are often hundreds of years old. Knee-high saplings need sunlight to grow taller. Starting out, when an old tree crashes to the ground, it makes a clearing. Saplings now have the sunlight they need to grow. They race towards the light, competing to take the dead tree's place. Wriggly roots, huge roots known as buttress roots, wriggle across the forest floor. They make a steady base for the giant trees. These roots also draw up water and nutrients from the top, most fertile layer of soil. Piggyback plants. Some canopy branches are like long, thin gardens. They are covered with plants called epiphytes, growing piggyback on the bark. These plants absorb water from the air or catch it for themselves to survive. The epiphytes in this picture are called bromelades. Epiphytes can be so heavy that an old tree can't bear the weight and falls over. Oh my. Bromelades catch water like buckets. Animals like this tree frog collect around the mini ponds. The roots of bromelain lades are only used for gripping. They do not steal nutrients from the tree. Dead leaves mix with water to make a soupy mulch for the plant to absorb. What? Hmm. Spreading out. Once a young tree has grown past the canopy, it can spread out its branches and enjoy the sunshine. No other giant trees can grow nearby because there is not enough room. 
Some of the giant trees are up to 1,400 years old and can be 200 feet high. Woody words. Sapling, a very young tree. Nutrients, the food dissolved in water that helps plants grow healthy. Fertile, rich in nutrients. Plants and trees grow more quickly and strongly in fertile soil. Jeepers creepers. Creepers, streamers hang between trees and bright red flowers dot the greenery like party decorations. From orchids to Rafflesia, rainforests are home to over half the world's plant life. Lobster claws. On a walk through the Amazon jungle, you are likely to see one of the 450 species of Heliconia, also known as lobster claws. These striking flowers love the tropical heat and damp conditions of jungle life. Thick woody creepers called Linanus stretch between trees. A deadly trap. Deadly traps. Insects have a fatal attraction to the sweet nectar in pitcher plants. When they land on the rim, they lose their footing, fall inside, and drown in the fluid at the bottom. The plant then absorbs nutrients from their dead bodies. Orchids. Del delicate and exotic orchids perch high on the branches of tall trees. These epiphytes need to be able to absorb water very quickly in order to survive. A stinking giant. A three-foot-wide Rafflesia bloom, the biggest flower in the world, opens in the dead of night and lasts for only one week. It stinks of rotten, rotting meat, earning it the nickname corpse flower. Can you stop the orchid mantis? In, oh, can you spot the orchid mantis in the flower? It is lying in wait to catch visiting insects. Wait, which and one's the orchid? These are orchids. They look like bananas peel. Um, oh, is that him right there? Look, right there. Huh. Okay. Moss. Where does ru rubber come from? Pencil erasers, bike tires, and bouncing balls come from rubber trees mm -hmm. that were originally found in the Amazon jungle. 200 years ago, Europeans flocked to the Amazon to make their fortunes from rubber. Despite it being illegal, they smuggled some trees out to Southeast Asia. Today, most rubber comes from there. In the treetops. Aww. The animals of the emergent layer make their homes at the very top of the forest. They need a remarkable, remarkable sense of balance, as well as a good head for heights. It's a long way down. <clears throat> Mighty Morphus. Airplane pilots flying above the Amazon often notice the blue shimmering wings of morpho butterflies below them. Morphos are very fast and agile flyers, easy to see but hard to catch. Big ears. This common marmoset, a type of monkey, is the size of a squirrel. It is small enough to dart among the trees, catching in insects, frogs, and lizards. Colugo cradle. When it's time to move on, this baby Colugo scrambles out of its mother's cradling arms and onto Ow. her back. Maverick, you need to stop. Mom then uses the flaps of her sides to make skin wings to glide down to lower trees. Skydiver. The Columbus monkey performs spectacular leaps between trees. Its feathery tail helps it to steer its jumps as well as slow it down in the air. It will fearlessly dive down 30 feet, the height of a two-story house to a tree below. Columbus monkeys rarely, if ever, go down to the ground. Because treetop branches are thin, many animals living here are small and light. The hairs at the end of its tail spread out mid-leap like a mini parachute. Roosting roos, tree kangaroos, the monkeys of Australia. No, nope, that's the wrong word. Australi Australasia. There are no wild monkeys in this area of the world. 
can leap easily between trees. They have sharp, curved claws on their feet to help them climb. Kangaroo babies, maverick. It's time to be quiet. I'm reading. Kangaroo babies are called joeys. The mother carries her joey in a pouch on her belly. For specs, jungle animals do move between layers and may travel down or up to find food. Many of our medicines contain ingredients taken from rainforest. You need to hush. Many Amazon birds also enjoy the view from the treetops. Flying nutcrackers. <laughs> Macaws, like the ones flying in this flock, have powerful beaks to break open nuts. To them, biting into a nut is as easy as biting into a banana. They are very brightly colored birds and the largest of all the parrots. Flying high. There are many different types of birds living in the environment, Maverick, living in the emergent layer from majestic eagles and vultures to noisy gangs of colorful parrots. Rainbow colors. Very fast birds, rainbow lorikeets, will fly a long way to find food. They usually travel in chattering flocks of 15 to 20 birds, but sometimes flocks join up and hundreds fly together. Jungle cleaner. Ooh, look at that. That's King weird. vultures help keep the jungle clean by eating dead animals. They find rotting bodies by following other vultures or using their strong sense of smell. King vultures have bald heads for, del for delving into car carcasses. One fifth of all of the birds in the world live in tropical rainforests. Parakeets along with lorikeets and macaws are a type of parrot. Screeching parakeets. It's hard to see this parakeet when it's feeding on fruits or flowers among the leaves. You can't miss it calling to its friends, though. Philippine eagles grow to three feet tall and 17 pounds in weight. They're definitely not a li as light as a feather. Monkey eater. This rare Philippine eagle is one of the world's biggest eagles. It has broad, rounded wings to help it swoop among the branches of trees and pick off unlucky monkeys. <laughs> Tree houses. It's bedtime in the forest. Whether it's a daytime nap or a full night's sleep, every animal needs a safe and comfortable place to rest. Many bed down in the trees, places for ants. The interconnecting chambers of ant plants make ideal living rooms for countless ants. Maverick and Izzy, stop, please. Yeah, move your feet. They use the chambers like a palace. Look at that. Very interesting. With rooms for nurseries, pantries, supplies, and even a special bedroom for the queen. The plant benefits, too, by gaining nutrients from the debris collected and stored by the ants. What is that? It's a plant that has, like, a cryptic tunnel system that the ants live in. I just read about it. Huh. Okay, my eyes are getting dry. Sweet dreams. Tree frogs' tasty snacks for many predators like to rest inside snug bromelades. The thick leaves protect and hide them. Tree frogs also save on water loss by sleeping through the hottest daylight hours. Soft as silk. Hermit hummingbirds are too small and delicate to make their nests out of twigs. Instead, they gather spider silk with their beaks and weave it into a silking cup for their tiny chicks. Oh, that's so cute. Spider silk is sticky, so the bird can attach her nest to a leaf. She adds a few twigs to the bottom so that it doesn't blow away. That's really neat. Yeah. A nest of leaves. Orangutans learn at a young age how to make sleeping nests in the trees. They copy their parents' action for action until they can build their nests in just a few minutes. They bend back branches to make their beds and then settle down comfortably for the night. Orangutans are the largest tree-dwelling animals in the world. Hole owners. 
There can be fierce competition for tree holes in the rainforest. Many animals and birds that can't make the holes themselves prefer to raise their families in the comfort and safety of a tree <laughs> hole. This lucky colugo has found a suitable hole high up in the emergent layer. Canopy creatures. More wildlife lives among the thick leaves and winding branches of the canopy than anywhere else in the rainforest. Monkeys chatter, reptiles flourish, and strange creatures cling to overhanging branches hanging out. Sloths, sin Sloths spend their lives hanging upside down. They have strong hooked claws at the ends of their fingers like coat hangers. Because of these, they can't stand or walk. They move around the trees very slowly. Once a week, they climb down to the forest floor to go to the bathroom. It takes them about an hour to get there. A sloth's coat is full of caterpillars that feed on green algae growing in its hair. Oh boy. Gentle giant. A green iguana looks fierce, but it is really very timid. Even though it can be as long as a man, it will run away at the smallest fright. Iguanas are good climbers with powerful toes and sharp claws for holding onto branches. Iguanas store fat in their necks for times when food is hard to find. Mischievous monkeys, these fun-loving common squirrel monkeys like to live in big groups of 30 or more friends and family. They eat fruit, birds, eggs, and wouldn't say no to a nice juicy spider either. Like their namesakes, squirrel monkeys are very agile and speed through the canopy. One long muscle. A green tree python has a nasty way of killing its prey. It uses its muscular body to squeeze it to death. By day, it drapes itself elegantly on a branch. By night, it hunts for sleeping monkeys and birds. These bulges are strong mouth muscles that it uses to grip prey. This snake gently wraps its coils around sleeping prey and then tightens its grip. Forest facts. Canopy leaves can be 13 feet long, like huge green umbrellas. Oh, moly. Epiphytus, growing on a canopy branch, can weigh as much as the branch. Those are those plants that grow on the branch. Canopy plants flower at different times. Some plants flower six times a year, others only once every 40 years. Wow. Are we about halfway in here? Maybe a page or two more. Forest acrobats. Whether they are swingers, jumpers, or gliders, animals travel around the treetops with acrobatic style. They rarely, if ever, miss their footing and fall. King of the swingers, gibbons really know how to swing. They use their extra long arms to speed through the canopy, reaching to a top speed of 30 miles per hour. It's crazy. Gibbons have excellent color vision and can turn their heads and look behind them. Gliding geckos. This small lizard has webbed feet and flaps of skin on its sides. When it takes off, the loose skin fills with air and it glides gently down to a lower branch. A gecko's tail acts as a rudder to direct its glide. Night gliding. A sugar glider has a suitable name. It can glide on skin wings and it loves to eat the sugary sap of eucalyptus trees. A sugar glider can judge a perfect takeoff and landing even on the darkest of nights. A twist in the tail. Some monkeys, like this spider monkey, have pre prehensile tails. They can use their tails as a fifth limb to help them move around and pick up objects. It's like having an extra arm. Forest acrobats learn how to swing before they can walk. Forest playground. The forest provides the perfect framework for acrobats. Woody creepers called lianas are used for getting around in canopy treetops meshed together to create highways between trees. To a young chimp like this one, the forest is one big adventure playground. Lianas grow from the ground up into the canopy using a host tree for support. 
Tarzan. Arr, arr, arr. Who can forget Tarzan's cry to his animal friends? One of the most famous stories of jungle acrobats is the story of Tarzan, a lost baby brought up by apes. Tarzan takes his lead from his best friend Cheetah, a chimpanzee, and swings around the forest using lianas. Last one, guys. Happy families. Many rainforest animals live together in organized social groups like our families. This is how they care for each other in the wild. Monkey troops. Mona monkeys live in troops of, a, of up to 20 members and share friendships with family bonds. There is one ruling male in each troop and he keeps all the females for himself. No other male gets a chance. Apes and monkeys are human beings' nearest living relatives. Monkeys moms from monkey moms from very close bond form very close bonds with their babies. Monkeys can look out for each other more easily in a group. Family facts. You two stop. In some animal families, the mom rears the young, and some the dad does it. And in others, they share the burden. It varies. Animals often leave their families when they are adults. Animal brothers and sisters play together and quarrel. Hitching a ride. The treetops can be dangerous for playful youngsters. So many parents carry their young on their backs. In silky anteater families, the dad does the carrying. Shield bugs are highly unusual. Most other insects lay their eggs and then leave them. A good mother, after a female shield bug's eggs hatch, she stands guard over her bug babies. They huddle beneath her, somehow knowing that it is dangerous to venture out alone. Tadpole backpacks. A poison arrow frog, which is the size of a penny, carries her tiny tadpoles to a bromlade pond. She deposits her load in the water and then visits the tadpoles daily until they turn into frogs. Look at that. It's really interesting. How did you Jungle? not know that? I haven't read this book. This is the first time. Jungle Giants. Elephants lumber through the jungles of Africa in family groups of up to 20. Baby elephants never stray far from their moms. All right, we're going to stop there. Okay, we'll start this one again tomorrow.